Let's move on with Spaz's Week in Review. Now, moving right along, speaking of finding things in burial grounds and stuff, now you can, uh, when you die, you can be mummified. Instead of cremated or just buried, you can be mummified. So <laughs> what they usually do is like to mummify you is that they wrap... Uh, wrappings around you. <laughs> <laughs> they wrap wrappings around you. <laughs> wrap wrappings around you. <laughs> they wrap wrappings around you. I'm not sure what they use. <laughs> like, <laughs> the, like wrapping paper? I, no, it's some sort of material. <laughs> oh, be, uh, this just in. Uh, hey, Spaz, I just put $20 worth of Jesus unleaded in my tank this morning. <laughs> Effing tool. <laughs> Jesus unleaded. <laughs> uh, okay, let's move on. A right. cloth type material around you, so you're a mummy, as you would see, like in ancient Egyptian times. You know, Egyptian. I think that these uh, people should be careful when they get mummified, mummified, because there's some basic ritual that the Egyptians used to mummify people oh, so no. what i'm thinking is oh, that no. if you mummify someone you're doing an ancient ritual by the egyptians and thus <laughs> then uh thus then he always uses that word thus to sound smart thus then. To try to make himself sound smart and then and thus thus then. Then. oh Wait. Right, we gotta go back. Hold on. I gotta hear the thus then again. All right. <laughs> the thus then. So what I'm thinking is that if you mummify someone, you're doing an ancient ritual by the Egyptians, and thus, then, uh, thus then. <laughs> <laughs> And thus then, thus then, and thus then, thus then, you are screwing with something that you do not know, unless you read up on the mummification ritual, Egyptian ritual. <laughs> oh my God, Opie, uh, Spaz's uh, history teacher checking in. Yeah, hello, Spaz's history teacher. Yes. <laughs> oh. Well. The thus then combo. Hey, thus buddy. then, the, 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 it's like a one two. The thus then, <laughs> then you you don't know what you're getting yourselves into, and you could possibly getting into this mumbo jumbo, and possibly <laughs> cause some massive evil around <laughs> your your aura, fam, you know your family aura, your uh, <laughs> you know your being, you know like the people around you or your town or something like that. <laughs> so I think that maybe you, sh you should just. Read up on it first, so that they know that mummification is not part of some Egyptian ritual, which I think it is. And then uh, they could do it properly, where they're not messing with mumbo jumbo that they shouldn't be messing with. Okay. <laughs> Ovi Doug from Manhattan checking in uh, for Christmas. The new improved Chia Jesus. Yes, Ed. Yeah. Going to be <laughs> on the market just in time for Christmas. Spaz, what the hell were you trying to say there? Uh, that we shouldn't tamper into the unknown. Unknown. Yes, yes. You you could be cursed, right? Yes, because like Brendan Fraser uh, saw in in the Mummy. I I have not seen that movie. <laughs> well, I am referring to that movie. Uh, okay, <laughs> I am referring to the Mummy. <laughs> yes, move over, Brendan Fraser. It's Spider Spaz in Mummy Two: Curse of the Red Retard. And in Peter Jennings. Uh, Peter Jennings checking in. Oh, good from ABC. My next special is to find Spaz's brain. <laughs> yeah, good luck. Much luck as he did finding Jesus. Uh, Bill, what's going on? Hey, how's it going? All right. I know a lot of the stuff you guys do in this radio show is real. I've seen it on the Spaz Cam, but this cannot be real. It's impossible. Nobody can come up with this stuff. No, nah, believe me. Bill, you think he's a comedy writer? I, I think he's got the entire city fooled. He's playing this dumb act. I don't know. He's he's either what he is, really stupid, or, or he's the, uh, or he's the, the the a brilliant comedian for our time. Right. Is, He's got to be. It was one of the two. Saturday Night Live, their whole staff couldn't write stuff like oh, that. They, well, they, nobody could. This is ingenious. Bill, I don't know how to prove it to you. This is as real as it gets. Uh, I mean, <laughs> this, this, this is the this stuff is we, we listened to uh, in the back office for many months and said, you know, it's time to put this on the radio. Hey, hello? It, it did take a while. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. 
Thanks. Of the mummy. All right, so yeah, let's uh, let's get another story out of the way here. Oh yeah, it, uh, wait for before <laughs> we're learning a lot though today. Ant. What? Pat from uh, Greenwich checking in. If I ever hear the word entity again, <laughs> I swear I will kill myself. Entity, entity. Uh, <laughs> Matt, what's going on? Hey guys, no, Spaz is right. Jesus does fertilize my lawn, except. He goes by Jesus, and he comes twice a week with his disciples. <laughs> <laughs> I'm suspecting he's urinating in my bushes. Uh, from the top of your building. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. Let's go to Joe. Joe! Hey, Joe, what's up? Hey, Owen A. How you guys doing? We're doing well. Uh, listen, you know, I just realized Spaz might have a point. Because if you think about it, Jesus turned water into wine. Why yeah. not himself into petroleum? <laughs> You know? Body of Christ, fill her up. Oh, man. Let me, t- let me tell you guys something. Since that day with the rat, okay? Yeah. yeah. Coming home from that show, the most popular question that my friends and coworkers asked me wasn't, how is the rat? What did it smell like? It was, is Spaz really that stupid? <laughs> yeah, so, see? I, I couldn't believe how many people really didn't believe that this is really Spaz. Oh, it's yeah. It's a miracle. This is it. Miracle of stupidity. Guys, good luck. Thank you, Joe. Goodbye. Bye. Right. All right. I think we can move on to the next story. Spaz, we can review. Okay, moving right along. Oh. Top court upholds a gay scout leader ban. Uh, basically, uh, it was ruled a couple months ago that scout, gay scout leaders cannot be in the Boy Scouts anymore because of fear of touching kids. And I propose the case that that does not necessarily mean that they're going to touch the little boys. That's Nambla. Do you like okay? having your These background? people just want to have gay sex acts. Nothing about little kids. Anyway, they're upholding gay scout leader ban. I think this is an atrocity, and um, it, because it says, according to the, it says that it breaks the scout oath of scout oath of being morally straight and clean. Clean means that you're not committing any crime. That means you're clean. Clean means that you're not doing any drugs. That's being clean. Clean means you're washing your hands every day and your face. That's being clean. Clean is not. Clean doesn't mean that you have to be straight. And morally straight does not mean gay. Morally straight means that you are going by the morals of decent society. Wait a minute. Morally straight does not mean gay. So you just said... (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Uh, uh. <laughs> King Mummy uh, from the dead. Can, can we just mummify Spaz's mouth? I've got some wrapping paper left from Christmas in the closet. Some wrappings. So we're learning about uh, what's clean, Anthony. Clean. What mm-hmm. clean means. Clean means a lot of things yes, in the world of Spaz. Yes. That you are going by the morals of decent society in terms of not committing, not breaking any of the Ten Commandments, not breaking any of your religious laws, uh, helping other people cross the street, giving money to the poor, being nice to your mommies and daddies, that's being morally straight, being an upstanding guy that has nothing to do with your sexual preference. So I just think that they're going just a little bit overboard, and I think it's an atrocity that they would use the scout oath as, um, as a thing to go against the scout leader that he's not following the scout oath. I think that's an atrocity. It's that's blemishing true. the scouts, and um, I just think it's bad. Obviously, this judge has no clue what a scout is, okay? And I'm not saying the scout is gay, but even though it is a bunch of guys going out in the wilderness together, <laughs> it's to make ourselves better men that we go out there, okay? That we wilderness survive. <laughs> wilderness survive. Hey, I'm gay. Hey, I'm gay. Hey, I'm gay. Hey, I'm gay. <laughs> Wilderness survive. Wilderness survive. But sex. Hey, I'm gay. <laughs> All right, so I, I just think this is wrong, and a judge who uh, should be uh, reversing his decision or overthrown. <laughs> Moving right along. He's <laughs> 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 too much. A lot of people wondering your opinion, Spaz. Jesus, the gay face? Um, no. Why? It pretty much fits. Long, kind of drawn. 
well, I, I noticed something in terms of the movie Jesus Christ Superstar that I was found kind of weird. Are though. you referring to that movie now? Yes, I'm okay, referring to Okay, referring to Jesus Christ <clears throat> Superstar. Mary Magdalene was supposed to be his mother in biblical sense, right? No, no, no. But, no. but in, the mo- in Jesus Christ Superstar, the movie, they portray him as boyfriend-girlfriend time. Kind of thing. <laughs> oh my God! No! 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 Oh no! 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 The Virgin Mary was his mother. Yes. Coincidentally enough, his chick was Mary Magdalene. Different people. I thought fast. they were the same. Different people. I thought it was just another name. Different people can have the same. Different people. <laughs> oh my God! Oh. <laughs> I thought, okay. Oh, oh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Referring to Jesus Christ Superstar. Why don't you refer to the Bible or <laughs> right. refer to that, that something <laughs> movie? <laughs> Bobby. Yeah, who's this? Opie Annie. It's everyone. Let's go. Uh, this guy is nuts. You got to get him off there. He's driving people crazy <laughs> with this Jesus stuff. Yeah. Jesus was a black man because he called everybody brother and he never got a fair trial. <laughs> <laughs> What's this guy talking about? He don't know nothing, this guy. Well, listen. Uh, yeah. Nice talking to you. Uh, Have a good show. That's a good line, Bobby. <laughs> Maybe line of the day. And I, I think we have to take a break. Okay. <laughs>